Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to some more Terra Genesis with our random planet playthrough. Episode 2 with our series. Oh, look at this. We've just got something else. A new style of cuisine is developed in founders based on exotic spices and intense flavors. Already a staple of the local diet. It is becoming popular elsewhere on McGrill as well, and we expect it to spread to other worlds soon. Well, that's going to be really hard to do. I don't know what the local <laughs> exotic spices and intense flavors are. Moon, moon dust, maybe. Sand, sand, sand and ice. Anyway, yeah, I wanted to take a look at this here and see if we got any boost from that facility, but it looks like we didn't. I thought maybe we would. Did we get a population boost? No. So we're pretty much just maxed out in everything. All right. So there's a couple of other things I want to look at. Um, last time we had gotten um, our outpost up and running. We got our first city up and running. Now... Let's take a look at the culture screen real quick. So we do have a culture point to spend. And we can spend it on a couple of different things. It says to achieve victory, spend 20 culture points towards independence and earn 1 billion credits. We only have 2 million. So we've got a long way to go. Now you can see right now that we already start with our different uh, things here. We've got the plutocracy, so 50% financial growth and wealth plus 30% financial growth. Now you can spend your culture point you get on... Um, boosting one of these. So if I want to keep working on the economy and, and go maybe industrial to get construction speed or eco policy for biomass growth or habitations, I could do that. I could also keep increasing my financial growth, get that up to 20%, or I could get the values, go 35% with financial growth. These swing left and right. So for example, if I say, okay, I want to go for economy and I want to push industrial. I'll get 5% construction speed, but I'll also get negative 5% biomass growth. For values, if I wanted to go 35% financial growth, it would drop me down to negative 35% research speed. So you gotta realize there's a lot of tug and pull here depending on what you pick. You might handicap yourself in the future. Now, financial growth is gonna be pretty applicable for us because we need that to get the billion credits. So we're going to... Uh, leave this all alone and I'm actually going to spend my culture point towards independence um, because that's, that's I, I, that, that I find is the hardest to raise. A talented holographer in Founders is rapidly gaining popularity all across Migral with the right support. She could become a true cultural phenomenon. How should we promote her work so we can get plus five population or 1500 credits? We're going to go for the paid broadcast and get the credits. Congratulations, you've completed your first mission. Increased revenue and we got 40,000 credits for that. So yeah, if you get 100% uh, independence victories achieved and every time you spend a culture point, you get 5% um, towards your independence. So I, like I said, you, only, you don't get culture points until um, you reach certain population milestones. So this one says the next point is going to be 250 population. There is random events that could give you culture points as well, but they're kind of far and wide. So I like to spend all my culture points towards independence because at the end of the day, I found that if you don't do that, you have to reach these ridiculous population milestones to get uh, culture points and it can be really, really challenging. All right, and so we can't do anything with spaceports yet or um, with uh, satellites yet because we need a spaceport. And we can't do anything with this yet um, this is the biosphere. I don't know why the tutorial is bringing me into this. Um, but I guess we'll go through this and he'll explain it for me. Um, but yeah, the, the biosphere we're not going to be able to do until we can actually support aquatic or terrestrial life. Obviously, we can't because the planet can't do it. But uh, I guess we'll go, go through this since it came up. In order to add new species, you'll need to open up slots by building biosphere-related facilities in your city. Relationships between species are represented by a number called support. The species in each tier require support from the tier before to survive and give support to the tier after it. For example, herbivores eat plants and are eaten by carnivores. They require plant support and they offer animal support. So essentially like, you know, I can't just go build plants without having microorganisms. I can't go build herbivores without having plants. So everything kind of acts as support for the uh, system or for the uh, animal uh, after it and uh, also keeps it in check for the animal before it. A hit poem has been released, which portrays founders as a sexy, vibrant, exciting city full of thrilling adventure and exotic romance. Mm. People have begun flocking to Migral in the hope of capturing this dream for themselves, resulting in a minor population boom. Well, there's only 100 people living there, so it must be really awkward. 
The amount of support generated by each tier is shown at the top of each table. Blue for microbe support, green for plant support, red for animal support. Start with making some microorganisms, and once you've got enough micro, microbe support for a plant species, you can move up to plants, then herbivores, and finally carnivores. When you have an available slot, tap create an organism to engineer your first microbe species. Okay. There you go. So now you guys all know all about the biosphere, but we won't need it for a while because the planet's not even close to being ready for that kind of stuff. All right, so let's jump back into, actually real quickly before I do that, let me go back and show you guys the money because we got that plus 1500 boost. So there it is, the great holographer. So now we're making a pretty good amount of credits a minute actually. And this is a permanent boost, but sometimes you can have bad stuff happen and give you negative boosts. So they cancel each other out in the end regardless. Um, the biggest thing is gonna be heat going down, pressure going up. So what do I want founders to be? I think I'd like to change founders to a, eventually I think I wanna change it to a heat related or maybe I keep it population and don't go temperature. How, let me see if I can remember what it costs to found a new city. Ah, uh, it costs 5 million credits. So we're not gonna get there. So Founders is going to have to do a little bit of everything until we can specialize later on when we've got more money. So let's go ahead and build ourselves a cooling plant. Currently under construction, it'll be ready in 29 minutes. Once you get the cooling plant, then we can start bringing the temperature down. Because if you guys remember, we've got to get that bad boy down to 287 uh, millikelvins. That's at 352. That could take some time. We're gonna be working on building pressure up as well, but we need thermal dust to do that. We can go ahead and hurry this. If we want to, it'll cost us five Genesis points. We have 23, so I'll go ahead and confirm that. Our research in the thermal dust has had a breakthrough. It begins to begin construction tap, build new facility. A local subsidiary of the Horizon Corporation of Founders has produced a new product that has gone viral. We're seeing significant growth in the local economy and our revenue projections are increasing daily. The latest craze, okay. But that doesn't show up here, does it? It does, successful Horizon subsidiary. Well. I don't know how long that lasts for, but that is unbelievable. Nice chunk of change there. We will spend it well. Okay, so now we've got thermal dust. We could go for the Atmogen, uh, Atmogen suite. It would generate uh, plus 60 pressure and plus 10 oxygens, uh, which we need both of these things. But uh, I'm half tempted to pick up something else. Maybe iron? But then we'll only have 600,000 credits. And will it be enough to get something else? What do we need after? Well, we've got to get pressure up. And we'll have to get other stuff as well. I know we're going to want to pick up heating cluster. None of these cost 600,000 credits. So we should probably go for the Hab Dome. Or we get this for so we can increase population faster. Why don't we do that? Maybe. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so 1.6 million. Once we get the 2 million, we'll spend it on the iron, but I don't want to do that because I, I always like to have something researching. Just in case. All right, so we'll take a look at this again. Under construction, we'll go ahead and hurry this so I can show you guys how that works. It's only two Genesis points. So now we've got a coolant plant and it is producing minus four heat a minute. So now if we go into here and we click on the heat, we can see current and growth is minus four a minute and our goal still, and we'll slowly start seeing this drop. We wanna make sure we get it down to 287,000. That is the perfect temperature for this planet to sustain uh, life and to start terraforming. Um, so this will have to run for a bit. I can build more of these, which I probably will to get it to go down lower, uh, faster. But for now, we're good where we're at. Now we've got pressure that we've got to start raising. So we'll go straight into founders. And I think we'll go ahead and build ourselves thermal dust plant. And that'll start increasing pressure. We'll actually rush that as well for the two gen Genesis points. So we can see that in the works as well. So currently it's gonna be increasing our plant's atmosphere by plus four a minute, and we're only going to 100,000. It shouldn't take long to get there, so that'll be pretty nice. All right, 
So that's about everything with the game so far. We'll have random events and stuff we've got to handle, but right now we're just kind of waiting for stuff to take through, which is perfectly fine. Uh, rich magnesium deposits have been discovered throughout the founder's region. Prospectors are already flocking to the site and we expect it to be a major boost. So we got another economy boost. We're getting a lot of luck here. Look at that, 1700. This is just uh, all really great. So we should have a lot of money really quickly, which I'm looking forward to. So we'll end the episode off here. Now, how these episodes usually go and how I've done it in the past on my channel is I'll do some stuff on camera and off camera. And after some time has passed, I'll come back and show you guys what I've done. And then uh, we'll go through and keep doing a couple things. If we end up getting some random events here, uh, that'll be kind of cool as well. And I'll go ahead and show those as we get to them. But uh, yeah, we'll have to wait and see how this all takes off for us. I'll come back and show you guys what the heat and the pressure looks like when we get to it. Thank you all for joining me. Hope that you've enjoyed it. I look forward to seeing you next time.